Hello everyone, my name is Lanzo90, and welcome to my Let's Play of Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress 2 is a team-based, class-based, first-person shooter. Which, I'll just jump right in to show you what that means. Of course, you know what a first-person shooter is, but... Uh, team Fortress 2 is pretty unique in the way that it's class-based as well. I think there's a few other games that do it, but Team Fortress 2 is definitely the main one I can think of that does it. So, I just joined a normal game server. It's a payload game type. Basically, it means that uh, one team pushes the cart, and the other team has to try to stop them. So, uh, I think blue team is usually the one that's pushing the cart and Red has to stop them. So, what you saw there was the uh, character select screen. You can bring it back up with the comma key. Uh, it shows you the different classes, and instead of going them, going over all of them right now, I'm gonna go one at a time, uh, kind of just in the order of whatever class the team needs. That's one thing about Team Fortress 2 that's different than some other games is uh, no one class is overpowered. They're all very, very well balanced. So, it, you're not gonna find a class that's gonna tip the scale of the game. So I've just picked Soldier because there are no soldiers on our team. I'm also pretty good at the Soldier. The soldier's primary weapon is a rocket launcher. It has uh, four four rockets in a clip. So, uh, <laughs> this looks like good game. You don't I have guess. to reload for a long time like some other rocket launchers do usually. I just killed a pirate with that rocket. Right now, it looks like the kind of boxed in back here. The red team's defending this point pretty well. Where's the car at? We gotta push the car. Oh, it's already up here. That was my bad, I didn't know where the cart was. Oh. In Team Fortress 2, you also randomly find items after you uh, die. Sometimes it's just normal stuff, like this buffalo steak sandwich. But, uh... Yeah, it's a pretty nice feature. Right now I'm playing with all the default weapons, because I want to show you a default experience for Team Fortress 2. But in later episodes, I'll switch to uh, some of the other weapons. Most of the weapons are balanced, but there are some that are, do seem just better than the others. I'll get into that when the time comes. Right now, I'm flanking around behind the enemy. Oh, so some of my other teammates are going to the same thing. Looks like it works, too. Pyro got behind me. Oh, and he was uber charged by the medic. It's another feature of the game. Um, the medic is actually kind of fun to play. We might play him later. I don't think we need one right now. Uh, we don't have one, but we also don't have a soldier, so... But the medic uh, has a gun that locks onto the target that you click on and heals him from a distance. And, uh... Over time, he charges an uber charge by doing that. And when he uses the uber charge, they turn invincible for a like, short amount of time. Not exactly sure how long it is. So, if you see a medic uber charge someone, what that looks like is like they're like shining the color of their team. Uh, it's best just to run away, because you can't do anything about it. I think the only thing someone can do about it immediately is a pyro, because the pyro has a secondary attack that pushes people away. And you can push the medic away from hit the target he's uber charging. So basically this adds up to, you need to try to kill the medic before you kill the other classes, the other characters around them. 
that time he was hiding too far back for me to get to. You want to take him out before he can uber charge and before he can heal his teammates. Uh, we might switch away from soldier now, because there is another soldier. I don't seem to be doing so well. If you press tab, you bring up the uh, score sh score screen. Mission ends in 30 seconds. It's typical for most PC games. Just for reference, if you're not well acquainted with PC games. Okay, what that there? That was a spy. The spy in this game in disguise as the enemy team or as your team. And uh so uh man, there's a bunch of them there. So you can't tell if he's actually a friend or foe. Unless you see him decloak or whatever, which is what happened there. I saw him decloak, so I tried to hit him, but I lost him before I could figure out exactly where he was. The pyro is really good for finding spies. Okay, we're gonna change class now. We're defending now. Okay, I think we're gonna need to play engineer. The engineer builds uh, buildings for the team. Like right now, I set up a teleporter right at our spawn so that I can teleport our team to the front lines. Or as close to the front lines as I feel safe doing. So we're it's best to do it where there's some metal. You get metal from ammo uh, packages that I just picked up. There's one right here. The dispenser uh, heals and replenishes the ammo of anyone who stands next to it. It also refills your own metal over time. Mission begins in 10 seconds. And this is the engineer's main Five, use. Four, the sentry three, gun. Two, sentry one. The sentry gun does... I think it's way more damage than any of the characters can do. At least when it's fully upgraded. It's really hard to take down. The only real way to take it down is to uh is for the spy to use his sapping device on it. Or uh let's just take him to see if that's a spy. Like I was, like I was saying, okay, someone's trying to blow it up with mines already. But might be successful too. I don't know there was a ledge above me there. But at least the dispenser is still there. But... It's just now too late to go there. So we're gonna... Dispenser down. Yeah, let's see, they blow up the dispenser. Oh, our team is just not doing well at holding these guys back. God, there's a heavy medic combo. He has received additional uh. time. Come on, team. I'm not the combat class, I can't deal with that. And it's not letting me go up, so I'm kind of like stuck. I don't think the teams are very balanced in this game. As you can see, people are unbalancing the teams. They have two more characters than we do. So uh, I'm going to leave the server. We're going to try to find something a little more balanced. Oh, now it's not going to find anything. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording for a minute. Okay, we're back. Uh, sorry, my internet connection isn't the greatest. And for some reason, 
For some reason my recording software like interferes with it even more. I don't know why, it's not... they're totally unrelated. But it makes it really slow to find servers. Blue team... Mission begins in 10 seconds. Uh, let's play Demo Man. Demo Man. The Demo Man's the only class in the game that has indirect fire ability. There are no grenades in Team Fortress 2. There was in the original Team Fortress, but uh, they were like overpowered. They're too easy to spam. I don't know if anyone remembers the first, the first Modern Warfare game, but it had this. It was starting to get the same problem, where people figured out exactly where the enemy spawn was, and so it could toss grenades across the entire map <laughs> right at the start, and then you'd always get a kill, guaranteed. I guess it was even worse in Team Fortress 2. So they got rid of that. Now only the Demo Man has indirect fire. It's not even a traditional grenade, it's a grenade launcher. But if you're a good aim with it, it's pretty effective. The secondary weapon is also kind of interesting. It's a mine, mine launcher. I don't need it right now, but it's good for defense, but right now we're on attack. You can also detonate the mines really quickly to use it like a grenade launcher. But I think it does less damage than a regular grenade. Sniper. See, so we're already doing better this round. Now I'm in the middle of the team instead of the bottom. That's the thing about Team Fortress 2 is it says it right in the game. You have to have a... Uh, right in the name. You have to have a good team in order to... Oh, that hit me. Oh, that was a sniper. You have to have a good team in order to win. You can't do it solo. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go. I think... Yeah, my... Mines can blow away their mines. When a projectile of any kind sparkles the color of your team, uh oh, overcharged. <sighs> Wasn't much I could do about that. But that's the overcharge I was telling you about. And, uh, the other thing I was about to mention was the critical hits. When you see a projectile that's sparkling the color of your team, that means it's critical. Critical explosives are pretty much one-shot kills. You'll uh, hear people talking about crockets, the nickname for critical rockets because they just, uh, tear people up. It's great if you're playing the soldier and you get one. But, uh, not if you get hit by one. Uh-oh. Oh, I almost killed that heavy. Look how low his health was. This game has a kill the cam a little bit like Call of Duty would. Except instead of showing you what they did before they got to you, it shows you them after they kill you. Um, we're doing pretty well. Making progress. It's possible that they're building up their defenses at the uh, last point. That's a com common strategy in this game. This game mode, I should say. Where is the thing? So I hear an enemy sentry shooting me, but I don't see crit. it. Give me that crit! Give me that crit! Spy power behind I'm us. gonna duck behind this thing, because they can't hit me when I'm ducking punch behind it, it. it. Oh, what the fuck? The cart also heals you when you're 
next to it. It's not very fast. I think it's... I think it's about the speed of a level 1 Punch dispenser. But it's not as fast as a medic. Uh, as you can see, the teams are starting. Oh, well, no, they bounced out again. I think I'm going backwards, yeah. And we're about to get it to the next point. You can see in the bottom of my screen here the progress of the cart. The red circles are the points that we need to push them to. Chase down this engineer. See, the uh, mine launcher wasn't killing anyone there. I was kinda hoping to be able to get enough mines up there next to that health pack to blow them both up. Didn't quite move. I think Domo Man is still a good class to use right now, though. And there's a lot of stuff to bounce the bombs off of. Different surfaces and whatnot. Okay, he's dead. Oh, heavy combo. Heavy medic combo is one of the uh, strongest strategies in the game. Because uh, heavies have lots of health. When a medic heals him, on top of healing him, he also gives him overheal. And overheal can heal you up to half of your ext heavy health extra. Stairs, watch out. So on a heavy, that's 300 plus 150. That's a lot of health. You can see I'm I'm another attack class, and I I had 175. The lighter classes even have less, so a fully overhealed heavy has a lot of health. That's scary. It's always hardest to make the final push to the last point. It really works the same as it does in real life. They always say that uh, it's easier to defend than it is to attack. Games, I've seen games like these just come to stalemates at this point. Let's see, we're gonna try to use the bomb going in. launcher to pull something off. Okay, there's a sentry down there. Blew up the sentry. Okay, we need to start pushing this thing. Near the car. The good thing about the demo man is you can put those bombs down and you don't have to keep having the mine launcher out to keep using it to uh, blow them up. You can just press like right click at any time. But it wasn't necessary. Oh yeah, I should have mentioned that the payload in this game is a bomb if you didn't notice. So once you get to the destination it blows up. Got some items again. These are crates. These are really annoying, because you have to pay real money to open the crates. It's like two dollars for a key to open them, so they're not really worth it. I think I have... I think that would make 60 crates now. I've just been building them up. Mission begins in 60 and seconds. I think that's all the time I have to record for now. So, if you, if you liked what you saw, like and favorite. If you uh, have some suggestions on how I should continue doing the series or suggestions for other games I should do Let's Plays of, feel free to leave a comment and uh, subscribe if you uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, hope you all have a good day. Where's the engine building?